William Pierce, executed in Kilmainham Jail, 4th of May, 1916. In the early hours of the morning of the 4th of May, William Pierce was visited in his cell in Kilmainham by his mother and sister. His sister, Senator Margaret Pierce, wrote an account of the visit. When our turn came, we entered the cell and found Willie standing, ready to receive us. There were three military officers with him, each holding a candle, the only available light. We talked quietly, calmly, and chiefly on personal matters, some letters and books about which Willie was anxious. We told him how proud we were of him and of Pat, and that we were satisfied they had done right. One touching incident he told us. Last night, he said, I had a terrible experience. I was in prison over there, indicating across the road, when a guard of soldiers came and brought me here. About halfway over we heard shots. The men looked at each other and one said, too late. I think they were bringing me here to see Pat, but we heard only the volley that took him. I asked him if the priest had been with him, telling him that Father Aloysius had been there on the previous night. Willie replied that he had asked for a priest, but that so far none had come. When I mentioned Father Aloysius, one of the officers immediately said, Yes, that clergyman is coming. His reply was so quick that I felt it was not true, and that he was merely trying to reassure us. Our interview ended. We bade Willie a last goodbye, and left him, gazing after us, one longing, sad look, till the cell door closed.